Hey, how's it going everybody? Got to do a review of the most comfortable pen or the comfortable pen on wire cutter. If you're familiar with their website, I'm going to show you how it writes. And as it compares to this very popular Pilot G2 7mm, uh, 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 I think it is. And also this other one that I bought, which was the Uniball uh, Signo. Um, I prefer a gel pen because it's more comfortable, but let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and write my notebook here that I bought here at Target. And you can kind of see the difference between each of the pens. Hopefully, you can make a buying decision for yourself. And let's go see here. Okay, so let's go start first with. First of all, my handwriting is terrible, so you're gonna have to bear with me. Uh, but I'm gonna use the G2, the Pilot G2 pen, just so you can see the difference. I'm gonna say, hello, YouTube. There you go. And then we're gonna write with this Jetstream here, which is the Uniball Signo. This was like $2.50 for two pens. Hello, YouTube. And then I'm going to write with this expensive $10 pen, uh, Unis Jetstream. And what's interesting is I remember when I first wrote with this pen, let's go see if we can actually get a better look at here. When I first wrote with this pen, this is the last one here that I wrote, is the interesting thing about it is that it is, um, it's a gel pen. I actually thought it was a ballpoint pen. I remember when I first got it out and I started writing with it, it's like, oh man, it's a ballpoint pen. Because it does, because I'm used to the, 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 the pen bleeding a little bit. And like you can see how this bleeds. This one's actually pretty fine, even though it's the same uh, thickness of the pen. So I have to say that this pen is pretty awesome. I do like it. I do wish it was a little bit thicker. Uh, that's the only thing, because uh, I've been doing a lot of handwritten, like copying stuff. Um, and I've been just trying to find some sort of thing to write with that was comfortable because I've been basically, you know, you can see here, uh, if you're into copywriting, you'll basically, you copy sales letters to learn how to write better. So you can learn how to write better sales copy. And I'm making this review because I like making YouTube videos about random things. And uh, hopefully you can make a better buying decision. Let me, let's go ahead and get a little closer in so you can kind of see me write and we can make it. And then I don't know if this is gonna be helpful, but I will try my best here. Kind of hard to arrange this. I'm just gonna. I'm see. The thing is that when you write with a smaller with a smaller space here, like this college rule, uh, I'm just gonna write. Um, I'm gonna write. You are awesome for watching my video hit the thumbs up all right so in before my handwriting is terrible right and then we'll write with this pilot g pen here you are awesome for watching my video Hit the thumbs up, please. And then we'll use the expensive pen here. You are awesome for watching my video. Hit the thumbs up. See, I, I like how this is like. It just doesn't bleed, and it's a uniball. So if if or it's a, yes, uniball. It's a it's a it's a gel pen, and it feels really good. It also has this little kind of little squeezable mushiness here. You kind of see that. Hopefully, you can see this. And it also has some weight to it, which is kind of nice. And that's actually the thing I like. Versus the, when I bought this pen here at Target today, I wasn't. It was super light, even though it's a little bit thicker. Well, I don't know. If it's probably the same thickness. Um, I do. I think I need a thicker pen. I think if I wish I would get this a little bit as a thicker one. But if you like it, there's a link in the description. There's a link to all these pens in the description in case you're interested. Um, but um, that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching.